I'm sure you have some success stories of people that have connected in these kind of events. Do you, does one of them pop in your head? There's like thousands of it because we have been doing like 100 events, and uh, but I'm going to tell you one. No, it, we put together an uh, investor from, I'm going to say the name, from um, Germany. It was called DIFA, Deutsche Immobiliaren Fund. And he met a guy here that was uh, selling an um, uh, uh, office building. And this fund uh, happens to buy the building, but not only the building, but commercial centers, but uh, three hotels. And that one's because they met in, in our events. It was a German girl that came here without knowing the market. And they sat together and they buy everything uh, for the German fund. But that's one of the biggest. But there's, there's a lot. I so say you can be the owner of land and don't know what to do. And it comes uh, uh, the developer and, and can partner with you. You can be a broker and uh, just meet a guy that, that has a lot of properties and want to sell it. No, you can be the architect. And uh, th there's some developers that are looking for a great architect uh, in, that knows the area and that know a bunch of histories like that. Successful, I have a lot. Welcome to the Nick Fong Podcast. As the broker and owner of Ronaval Real Estate, Nick has spent nearly 20 years in Baja, California, sir. And in this podcast, he'll be talking everything Baja, from food and culture to real estate and property management. And now, here's your host, Nick Fong. All right, welcome back to the podcast. I have connected by a Zoom call, Enrico Garcia. Enrico, how are you doing? Fine, thank you. Nice to uh, be here, Nick. Well, I asked you to be on the podcast because we met a couple weeks ago um, through mutual acquaintances, and you're holding an event in a couple weeks here in Los Cabos. From what I understand, it's going to be the first time you host an event here in Cabo. But before we get into the event and your company, tell us about yourself, Enrico. Where are you located? Yeah, I'm located in Mexico City. I have offices also in uh, Miami. My partner uh, is the one who's in charge of them and another office in Dallas. But I'm located in Mexico City. The main office is here since 23 years ago. We're happy, but we travel a lot. No, we, we have office here in the in, in our phones right now. So, yes. And so you have the offices, international offices, and your business is centered around real estate. Yes. I have a company. It calls B2B Media. B2B Media because it's business to business, no, in the real estate. It's a multimedia platform for the promotion of the real estate. Uh, all, all around to, to Mexico and outside Mexico, no? And it's, it's basically uh, all, the, all the developers, the investors, the brokers, the uh, uh, constructors, uh, we, we give them content, no? We give them information with different platforms, with magazine, digital prints, the website, um, uh, newsletter, and we... Like you say, we organize events in more than 25 cities around North America. Okay. So is your focus more in Mexico or you are also doing business in the United States for developers and real estate professionals? We, we started to promote in Mexico at the beginning, but then we do a bridge to promote investors uh, from Mexico to Miami, people who wants to buy an apartment in Miami, people who wants to buy uh, apartments in New York. And right now they want to buy multifamily projects in, in Texas. And so we, we kind of uh, connect right now investors to Mexico and investors from Mexico to United States. Okay, so if I'm in the United States, I'm a real estate investor, I would look to your company to help me look for opportunities and also get um, educated on the different areas. Exactly. Just uh, we will talk about not not only residential or second homes. We will talk about real estate industry like industrial, logistics, 
like uh, tourism, hotelry, like um, also retail, no? So we will talk about all, all the sectors in the real estate. And Rico, how long have you guys been doing this? Uh, we have been doing this since 2000. I have been in my, we found the company in 2000, 23 years ago. We started with a magazine, Immobiliare, and Immobiliare grew up, grew really fast to the um, a print edition, then to the digital edition. When we put together our website, uh, Immobiliare.com, that has like 10,000 articles about the real estate from different perspectives. And then we we organize events and that's the way we connect with the people. We make a great network. It's been a really successful what we do with um, with the with the reps. It's called reps, real estate business summit. Okay. And how many of these summits are you doing per year on average? Like 12 to 13. Uh, like, for example, right now in February, we're going to do Los Cabos in the 15 and 16. And then we're going to Mexico to uh, Querétaro. That is a central place in Mexico you know, that is really well known from the industrial and manufacturing perspective from automotive to uh, aeros- uh, aerospatial. So we, we're doing then we're going to uh, New York to put together an event, really financial kind of thing. Uh, with the institutional investors, funds, REITs, uh, who wants to invest in Mexico and in properties in Mexico, but in like like uh, big projects, no? And when is that event in New York? In, in New York is uh, 9th, March, March 9th. It's in New York City. We have been doing this event it's, it's our ninth time we put together this event. So, so it's pretty impressive because all the important investors, uh, institutional investors, they're, they're based in, in New York. So we put together people that already live there with, with people who want to come there and want to see what do investors uh, are looking right now and, and, and what, what type of properties or projects and the cap rates and, and you know, the return of investments and uh, how do they see Mexico, for example. Hey, thanks for being a part of the Nick Fong podcast. Make sure to subscribe to the podcast to get the latest updates. And if you're watching this on our social channels, please like and share. And if you want to be featured or you want me to talk on a certain topic, food, activities, culture, real estate in the Baja, drop a comment. From um, a post-COVID perspective, can you give us some insight as to how the institutional investor it looks at Mexico from a real estate investment? Can you give us some yes. insight to that? Yes. After after the the, the post COVID, there's there's two main topics that are talking about. One is industrial, because the near sharing is is getting really really hot. The, the, they need the companies to be. Uh, close to the to the United States and to Canada, and uh, to be uh, um, in China right now is not is is not a good thing because all the supply chain. So near sharing is better, and Mexico is like the best country to do that. Mm-hmm. And uh, it calls it calls also friendly sharing. No, it, it's more friendly because it's closer, and and we we have the workers. Um, you don't need to transport too many hours and they don't they don't have to close the supply chains. That's one, the industrial. And the second one is what you're doing, the residential, the second homes, they're booming because, because after the COVID, everybody working from home, they don't need to be anymore in New York or in or in San Francisco. They don't need to spend that money on rent or whatever, and they can be whatever. So the f- famous digital nomads are coming to Mexico real, real fast. Also, the people that um, that are not working in, anymore, the baby boomers. There's a big, big, big uh, people coming to Mexico. So it's the residential tourist is is booming in Mexico in areas like Los Cabos, in Puerto Vallarta, in Riviera Maya, Playa del Carmen, Cancun, Tulum. You know, it's 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 kind of crazy. So that area is kind of the best the best uh, place to invest in real estate. 
So that last trend that you're talking about leads us to Los Cabos and the event that you're going to have February 15th and 16th. Uh, can you tell us about that event? Yes, it's an event. That in, on the 15th, we do a cocktail network. So 5 to 7 p.m. In our company, the one of the best thing is to make connections and to be in contact with the people. So right now that we can see each other, no, it's it's kind of, you, you need to make people with the people, you need to meet people in, in events. So the networking, the 15 is, is pretty important for us because that way the next day on the 16th, that is the summit, you don't need to rush to, to, to contact all the people you already have uh, some of them and you can uh no you can be really really about the content that we're we're doing and on the 16th we have this half day summit it starts at 8 a.m with a breakfast and then uh, it it ends at 2 30 p.m but we have five panels discussion panels uh, about different topics Actually, you're going to be in one of them. Um, we're going to talk about what is happening in the second homes industry in Los Cabos. No? What is the perspective? How is uh, the, the value of the properties? You know? how, long, how long does it take to, to buy a property to sell it? So we're going to talk about those main topics. Also, we're going to talk about uh, hotels. We're going to talk about infrastructure. And we're going to talk about the financial thing. No, how do you investors or big funds see Los Cabos to invest in hotelry? Like, like this big one, uh, 14 Capital uh, is investing in, in hotels. They also have uh, uh, some reserve. And the other one is Vertex. Vertex is a, is a REIT that invested in the Thompson. He already sold it and he's, he's buying more properties. So, so uh, we're having like 27 leaders of the real estate talking in this event. It's it's kind of hard to have all this information in just like seven hours, no? You're gonna be like boost with a lot of information. You're gonna go like, what happened? But but feeling like really active with, with it. I, you know, I've been to many of these kind of summits. Are all of them sequential or will some of the guest panels be concurrent? Meaning you have to choose one panel discussion over another. No, no, they're 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 gonna be. Uh, you, you don't need to choose. It's oh, one after another. Yes. Okay, that's good. And who would be an audience? Who would be the people that should really pay attention and consider attending this event? First of all, all the ecosystem. No, uh, the brokers. No, the developers, the invest institutional investors. All the services around, you no, know, the escrow guys, the legal guys, the architects, that, and also investors that I that are looking at Los Cabos to to buy properties and do projects on residential for vacational, for boutique hotels, even restaurants, you no, know, that that people. You know, doing this for a number of years yourself and in different locations and having investors. REITs, developers, real estate brokers, escrow companies, banks, lenders. I'm sure you have some success stories of people that have connected in these kind of events. Do you, does one of them pop in your head? There's like thousands of it because we have been doing like 100 events. And uh, But I'm going to tell you one. No, it, We put together an uh, investor from, I'm going to say the name, from... Um, Germany, it was called DIFA, Deutsche Immobiliaren Fund. And he met a guy here that was uh, selling an um, uh, office building. And this fund uh, happens to buy the building, but not only the building, but commercial centers, but uh, three hotels. And that one's because they met in, in our events. It was a German girl that came here without knowing the market. And they sat together and they buy everything uh, for the German fund. But that's one of the biggest. But there's, there's a lot. I so say you can be the owner of land and don't know what to do. And it comes uh, uh, the developer and, and can partner with you. You can be a broker and uh, just meet a guy that, that has a lot of properties and want to sell it. No, you can be the architect. 
And uh, th there's some developers that are looking for a great architect uh, that knows the area and that, you know, a bunch of histories like that, successful, I have a lot. That's fantastic. And this event is going to be in English and in Spanish. Yes, it's going to be, for example, you can, everybody speak English and Spanish, no, in Los Cabos, everybody must speak English, uh, even three languages. So you can, you can uh, talk it in English and Spanish, it, it, it's going to be wherever the, the panelists prefer. Yes, fantastic. Well, I appreciate you telling us about the event, about your business, and I look forward to seeing you in a couple of weeks. Thank you very much, Nick. Uh, it's going to be a successful event. I know it's not going to be the first one. We're going to do it every, every year. And I'm very privileged to be on the panel, one of those panel. And um, uh, I'll see you in a couple of weeks. Thanks, Enrico. Thank you very much, Nick. Bye. Bye. And until the next one, bye for now. Thanks for listening to this episode of the Nick Fong Podcast. Make sure you subscribe to the podcast and the YouTube channel at youtube.com slash Ronaval Real Estate. And follow Nick on Instagram at nickfong underscore Ronaval. Ready to find your Baja dream home? Check out the latest property listings at ronaval.com or findmexicohouses.com. Hasta luego.